In this movie, I want to consider the benefits of local space compared to world space. Now, sometimes it makes perfect sense to use world space. You will often want to define the position of an object within the world. In that case, you simply want to define its X, Y, and Z position as a measured offset from the world's origin. But sometimes when moving objects around, it makes sense to use local space. Because in these instances, what we want to do is to take the object at its current position, wherever it happens to be in the scene, and we want to displace or offset it by a certain amount relative to where it's standing right now. In this case, it can be easier to visualize transformations in terms of local space. We simply want to offset the object away from its current position and add that on to where it is right now. In these instances, it makes sense to use local space as well. We could use world space too, but we can also use local space. And I want to show you in this movie how to do that. So I'm going to double click on this displace object script. You may remember that we have this capsule object in the scene and it continues moving in the direction in which it's looking and the code inside this script file achieves that. In fact, at line 26, we can see that we are using world space displacement. I'm taking the position of the object right now and moving it in the direction in which it's looking. I want to achieve exactly the same behavior now, but to use local space instead of world space. So I'm going to comment out this line, line 26 here, and instead I'm going to create a local space displacement vector. So to do that, I'm going to choose vector 3, and I will call this local space displacement, like so. And it's going to equal this time the direction in which we're looking, the forward vector. But instead of using the world space forward vector, I'm going to use the local space vector, which is 0, 0, 1. So I'm going to choose vector 3, dot forwards, Notice I'm using vector3.forward instead of transform.forward. And then the rest of the statement is exactly the same. On this occasion here now, we've created a local displacement vector, a vector in local space. But we cannot simply just add this on to our position because we don't know the orientation and the position of the object right now. We need to convert that displacement vector into world space. And Unity gives us a function to do that. So I'm going to create a completely new vector, which is going to be called vector3, and I'll call this world space displacement. And I'm going to equal the transform component, and the transform component gives us a function, which is called transform direction. You can see that listed here in the code completion dialog, and under the summary it tells us what it does, and that is transforms a direction from local space to world space. That is exactly what we need to do. So I'm going to select transform direction and this function simply takes one argument as input which is a vector in local space so I'm going to take our local space displacement and plug that into the function and it will convert that for us and put the result into this vector and all I need to do now to transform the object just as it worked before is to add that world space displacement onto the position of the object so I can simply say this transform dot position plus equals the world space displacement vector, like so. I'm going to save that code and close MonoDevelop, returning back to the Unity editor. Unity will compile that code, and remember this functionality will work just as it did before. So if I select the capsule object here in the scene and I press play on the toolbar, you can see that the object starts to move around the scene. Looking in the direction, or moving in the direction in which it's looking, I could of course rotate the object a little bit, and it continues to move along that forward vector, but this time we're specifying the displacement in local space. So that's splendid. But I want to show you one more thing. There is in fact another way, and it's really quite a clever way in which you can convert a local displacement into world space, and that is by using the quaternion or the rotation of the object. I'm going to bring back MonoDevelop here, so I'm going to open the displace object script file in MonoDevelop. And previously we've used this line, line 29, to perform the conversion. But there's another way that you can do this. So I'm going to comment out this line and add in a duplicate line for the world space displacement. Instead of using the function transform direction, I can take this piece of code out entirely and I can take the rotation of the object. So rotation, which is defined, remember, as a quaternion, I can take the rotation of the object and multiply it by the local displacement vector. 
and the quaternion will effectively, when multiplied with local displacement, produce a vector in world space. That is a phenomenal property of quaternions. So I'm going to press Control S to save this code and go back to Unity. Before I do so, I want to just remind you the fact that quaternions are non-commutative when it comes to multiplication. That is, the order of multiplication matters. So I could not write this statement as local space multiplied by this. I could not write, for example, this statement. That would produce an error. The order of multiplication matters. You have to put the quaternion first and then the vector in local space as the second argument. Otherwise, this code will not compile. So I'm going to press Control S on the keyboard to save that and return back to Unity. Unity will compile that code and everything will be fine. And this will work just as it did before, except this time we're performing the conversion using quaternions. So again, this object is moving forwards in the direction in which it's looking. And just as before, I can change the orientation of that object and it will continue to travel along that forward vector. So that's how we can convert local space to world space. That's a very powerful thing to do.